Okay, so this is called the butane lab. We have a butane lighter, a small disposable lighter. We're going to plop it into the battery jar. That's a big oversized beaker with three quarters way full of the water. And then we're going to dry it off. The reason why we do this is the um, lighter has a tendency to hold on to nooks and crannies of water. So we're going to let it do that and then try to see how much of the water we can get out of there. Consistency is key on how wet the lighter is at the beginning and the end. Do that until we can no longer see the drops. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on the balance and find out how much, what is the mass of the lighter to begin with. Zero the balance. Go ahead and put it on the balance. And we see that we have a mass of 13.6 grams. That's all we have to do with the lighter for now. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a graduated cylinder, a 100 mil graduated cylinder, and fill it up to the very, very top with water out of the tap. Um, and then we're going to take a stopper, a rubber stopper that fits barely in the hole, and top it off. And if some water is going to spill out, that's intentional. You're going to make sure that you fill the hole, but don't get stuck in there. We don't want it stuck. Then we're going to take our battery jar. And we're going to take our graduated cylinder we just filled with water and we're going to flip it over into the battery jar quickly so that we don't get any air bubbles and then remove the stopper now once we've done that we want to go ahead and dispense the butane out of the lighter into the graduated cylinder so put your hand underneath go ahead and press the button on the lighter and this is not the most exciting thing in the world to watch but it takes a long time you allow the air to go out i'm going to go ahead and make the lighter release a little faster water and then essentially for the next couple minutes just going to let gas leave the lighter. You can see the little bubbles there. I allow the gas to leave the lighter and fill the graduated cylinder. Definitely not one of the most exciting labs to perform, but we need to collect the gas. So it's just going to take a little bit of time. While I did this yesterday, my sleeve got really, really crazy wet. You can see my sleeve in the water. I didn't realize that until I was done or most of the way done. Uh, it's moving a little faster now. And we have to collect anywhere from 95 to 100 milliliters of butane from the lighter. Now, one of the tricks to doing this is just patience. You don't want to have the gas not go into the graduated cylinder, so patiently wait for it to fill. Can't see, but I know based on time frame, it's probably about 30, 40 mils, so we're about 40% done. Can't see the top of it yet, but I can see the bubbles still going up. I don't know whether you can hear it. My dishwasher is running in the next room. Extra noise for the day. It's a bonus. Up oh, there you see the gas. At the very, very top of the screen, you can see the gas filling up. That means it's probably about 80 mils now. Yeah, right around 80. So I'm going to keep dispensing it until I get past the 95 mil mark. Keep filling, keep filling, keep filling. Again, until it gets to 95 mils. And then I'm gonna let it sit. The gas right now is being dispensed through this water. The water's a little cold, not crazy cold, but a little cold. So I wanna make sure that it has room to expand as it gets a little bit warmer. 
See, I'm right now trying to make sure it's just above 95. That way I fill up a lot of it, but I'm not going to go too far past it. Just make sure the gas goes into, there we go. And then I'll just let it sit. So now I have to worry about that lighter. I have to dry that lighter off again. First thing I'll dry off my hand. So dry off that lighter. Again, just like last time, wrap it with a paper towel and then go ahead and tap it on a dry part of the paper towel until I no longer see any brown specks. To, there's, the paper towel is pretty wet, so I have to go find a bunch of spots, make sure I don't see any more. And once I see no more, I'm going to go ahead and put this, this on the balance, and it should get lighter because I've just, I've just dispensed this gas into this area, into the tube, so it should get lighter if I can make it stand up. And we have a mass of 12.92 grams. So we lost about 2.4, or sorry, 0.24 grams of gas. Okay. Now I need to get in a couple other pieces of data. One of them is going to be the volume. I have to let it sit for a while to get the volume because I don't want the volume to be the reading right now. I want to allow it to come to room temperature. So one thing I need to get is I need to get the pressure one thing I didn't show in this video is I went and there was a pressure sensor in the room um, on one of the other computers. It read 74.744.1 millimeters of mercury. So I want to get this as close as I can to the level of the water and then take a reading. If I do this, I see that I've got 97.0 milliliters of gas in the tube. And then I need to grab the thermometer. And when I read the thermometer, I had 19.4 degrees Celsius in the room. So that's going to say that call that the, the temperature of my gas. That's it. And after this portion of the lab was done with, I went ahead and I repeated the experiment two more times, leaving the following results. The pressure in the room didn't change. Neither did the temperature, so therefore neither did the water vapor pressure. But here are the final results for all three trials.